Hello, this is Rishi Sawadee from Documenting HD. You are watching Documenting HD episode one. My budget is set up, or my budget regard is set up. So, without wasting any time, let's dive into it. When I come here in morning, it is actually a close-up day set up. Now, let's see how I assemble it in the morning. Time us, please. Then this is how I set up my desk in the morning. But then I have different this orga organization with or this or different desk accessories orientation as uh, my work need. Like in the morning, I have my routine set up, which is look like this. It has a diary, my to do list diary, my affirmation diary, and my book. Then my online class setup which looks like the, this which is actually just a mouse and two notebooks then I have my typing setup which involves my mouse in distance and my two my keyboard alphabets in front of my two hands like this I can type the keys then I have my four desk setup which is my brainstorming setup which includes a doodling pad, my scrapbook and some pencils, pen and highlighter so I can declutter my mind, my thoughts, etc. Now I am going to explain the components of my desk setup in details. Uh, right now I don't have a desktop big enough to fit all my accessories at the same time so I am using my dining room table. So let's start. So first of all we have the start of the show which is my HP 1TB hard drive, 8GB RAM, 2GB graphic cards I don't know the model name but still it is an HP laptop with Iron Man vs Captain America's skin on it Now then I have my audio requirements which is a Bluetooth earphone from Target It is around 1000 rupees in price which is the cheapest I got since I don't use much for the songs but all for the audios and videos in the editing process or uh, YouTube. So now we have uh, a stand, laptop stand to support this beast. For that we have this laptop stand from Amazon which folds and super portable, super lightweight, made from aluminium and have a silicon steel, silicons, I don't know what they call it but I have some silicon plating so to anti-slip, I think it's called some anti-slip stickers on it so the laptop don't skid from the aluminium stands now then i have uh, this stand also have the different kinds of holes so we can adjust the size and the inclination of the stand like this so this is a super portable laptop stand for i think it is i overpaid for this uh, it is for 725 i guess link in the description you can check it out it's on amazon uh, search for it then we have my keyboard and mouse combo from Chroma which is a Tata product it is, uses a single nano receiver so it takes only one USB port to operate these two normally I use only mouse for most of the editing purposes scrolling or reading ebooks but when I'm typing for like actually I'm typing my own book on a novel fictional novel I will tell you more about it in the upcoming videos but for now I use this keyboard for that. Earlier I used, uh, used the laptop's inbuilt keyboard but it is too small and I uh, learned to type on a typewriter so it is more of a feeling. Then we have a laptop sleeve for it which is also from Amazon for only 149 rupees It is super cheap and super comfy. I use it as a laptop mat also and also the laptop stay safe from my dust house then we have some stationaries here in this pen box now this is my power rangers to-do list diary which is i used 
as a child but never fully completed it so i am trying to complete it now so it is my to-do list i have a pen from uh, rorito fanta Glade. so it is just a 10 rupees pen a black pen i have three pencil two regulars and one 2b pencil i do uh, actually purchase purchased it uh, for the and sketching workshop from our college also i have some sharpener I have one eraser highlighter which is a very fun to draw some logos etc this is my favorite pen because it has a uh, my name which is start bathe and also seven plus empire written on it or uh, else engraved on it i customized it from vista print for uh, 250 rupees also i have got this uh light because i don't have a backlit keyboard for the laptop so i used it for my light uh, to typing in the night but it is free actually because it came with the laptop skin so it is free for me now this is the pipe pen box it is actually a lunch box with a sliding uh actually not sliding actually a lid on it but i removed the lid and using it as a pipe pen box then we have some stationaries here now for stationaries it is uh this diary is actually a gift from my sister i it is a super hard cover and it has beautiful pages i use it as my affirmation diaries i write it in uh, for five minutes about my goals and my accomplishments to boost my spirit in the morning so it is an affirmation diary then it is a book i have currently i currently reading it is from dale carnegie how to win friends and influence people one of the most popular books of his i recently started and i probably finish him finish it this book in this month actually then i will have some two notebooks for my class work it is a minister's spiral notepad actually uh, it is written on it and then it is i use it for only one subject uh, for my writing and editing skills as i intend to keep it with me as for my career as a journalist then we have a notebook which i use for every other subject for actually five subjects i guess it is for a quick note taking actually we get notes from pdf so it is for my personal learning so it is a quick note taking notebook now we have my right uh, writing pad or clipboard it has uh, the remaining pages of an old diary actually of a diary of 2005 it is belong it belonged to my father now i'm using it the remaining pages as my scrapbook to write and declutter my thoughts then below i have two paper clips joined to a pad writing pad for uh, and it is a blank white pages now it has some drawings on it and actually some drawings from my sketching workshop I use it for editing or planning something like the desk setup or desk orientation etc. So now this is my desk accessory for now. I have uh, else apart, apart from this I have a laptop charger and uh, my phone charger with me and also an extra cable for charging my Bluetooth earphone actually because it uses a type B pin instead of type C as for my phone. So that's for the desk components. Now let's go to the ergonomics of my desk. Now let's talk about the ergonomics of my desk. Now ergonomic is something like a theory for how the desk should be set up so we can reduce the pain in our back, pain of our wrist, hand etc. So it is to better comfort in at the work. So I have this chair which is at the slope so it goes back whenever I don't need it but still. Uh, so let's talk about the ergonomics of my desk setup so the principle of ergonomic monitor setup is that the monitor should be at the arm's length from you like from your head so my monitor is at the arm's length and the top of the screen it should be at my eye level but right now it is also my eye level but you can't see it in the video now your hand should be on your chair's hand rest and they should be perpendicular to the desk so you, your wrist will be in the right angle uh, your elbow should be in the right angle when you're working on a computer with using keyboards same with the mouse now i have my mouse pad with uh, my wrist with it but i don't have a wrist rest on my keyboard so i use it like my mouse in the front my keyboards on for wrist in my right hand uh, in my on front of my both hands so i can type easily 
Now, this is the ergonomic of my desk. And for the comfort, I have put a floor mat for my footrest so it doesn't get what is called soothing or it doesn't get numb. My legs tends to go get numb easily. So I have my foot mat which has a, some kind of uh, rubber so it feels take the texture to my legs and it circulates the blood flow sorry the blood flow in my legs so that's the ergonomic of my this setup i also have the, some cables here for the charging and the charging of my phone and that's, uh, that's it for the ergonomics of my desk so that was my budget desk setup it doesn't have a lot of fancy things but still it has a lot of useful things and some of them are modified by mail by like the bean or the hook for my wires or cables whatever you can say also my desk has a small compartment that doesn't my desk doesn't have a drawer drawers but still it has compartments where i can slide in my pen box my clipboard etc also i have managed to get the household items to work for me like uh, this tablecloth instead of a uh, desk mat and this carpet floor ma floor mat as my blood blood pressure circulate instead of a professional setup now also in some cases like in keyboard and mouse which has a technical side i didn't do some kind of jugad i purchased it at the reasonable rate also the laptop stand is an aluminium which also i purchased at the some extra rate than normal laptop stands but they still all worth it also i have a laptop sleeve which is really really cheap in terms of laptop sleeves but still i love it and also yeah that's the uh, things i uh, buy also i have a uh, prob i had problem with my uh, desk height so my legs couldn't fit under it so i put four bricks inside four legs so it elevates the height of the desk it doesn't uh, bother with my ergonomics ergonomics of my desk because i have the chair which can go low and also simultaneous which could go up so that's how i utilize my chair's power as my desk weakness so that was the final thoughts about my desk setup i hope you like it please let me know in the comments also like share, and subscribe this episode if you actually like it and thanks for watching this document gadget is episode one now why we shifted from 7 meter palace to document ht because 7 meter palace happened to be a cocktail of different topics and different genres but now it is going to be my personal blog focusing on my life journey and also i am taking you with me on the progress i i i will be doing in further more years so stay tuned for my daily vlogs or weekly vlogs anything that happens interesting i will let you know with this vlogs so this is the shift from 7 Media Palace to Document HD. Now, for the 7 Media Palace original content, I'm launching a new YouTube channel next month that is on August 2021 called 7 Plus Network, which is going to be my official YouTube channel for my media company, a multimedia media company, 7 Plus Network, which will be including different topics. So this is the basic strategy of the future content of 7 Media Palace and 7 Plus Network combined. So stay tuned till next month for the launch of my new media companies, official YouTube channel and other social media handles. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, there are the links in the description so you can follow me there for quick updates about uh, the things I'm doing with my life. So that's for all. Thank you for watching. This is Rishyastavadhan from Document HD episode 1 signing off.